I'm Bob. Y'all, y'all, I'm Bob. And we're... Cooking with Cords! Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Cords. Okay, so today we're going to make cake. We're going to make an applesauce cake. With Kareem. Kareem. Kareem King Frosting! The first thing we're going to do is wash our hands. Like out. Like out. She's putting her apron on. She needs her apron on. I thought that was your apron that is on right now. So, we're making a cake, so what is the next thing we need to do? Preheat the oven to 350! We preheated the oven to 350. Alright, now we're getting started. We're going to whisk together the dry ingredients first. We are going to need two cups of flour. While Corpse is measuring together the dry ingredients, I am going to grease the pan. We're going to use just a simple eight inch pan. It's simple. I'm going to spray it and then I'm going to flour it. So the next thing Corpse, you need is two teaspoons of baking powder. That's this guy. I'm supposed to put in my hands. Oh. Right in your hand. This stuff is hard to sprinkle. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Whatever you call it. Wow, 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 now. Half a teaspoon of salt. Put a little pinch extra here. A little bit extra salt. Three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So three quarters is one half plus one quarter. Or you could just do a big rounded half. Whatever you like. Half a teaspoon of ginger. And one eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. So that's just like half of, half of that. Exactly. Just a little pinch. No. Whisk that up a little bit. That's the dry ingredients. Now we're going to whisk up the wet ingredients with wet. the mixer. That's probably good. We need to beat the butter, the brown sugar, and the vanilla with this. So a we butter. have, guess how much butter this is. What's your estimate? One cup. It's half a cup. Half a cup of butter. Just wait for a sec. Finally. It took forever. We measured, pre measured this. It's one cup of brown rice sugar. Just brown sugar. It's not brown it's rice sugar. It's right. And one teaspoon of vanilla. Do you still have the one teaspoon guy there? Like it's a guy. Nice. Nailed it. Corpse gonna put that on the mixer. Oh, I can't wait for this drop. And we're gonna mix it up for two or three minutes or so until it's fluffy. Yep. We think it's mixed up enough. We are going to turn it off. And add, what are we adding next? Eggs. Two eggs. Okay, we're gonna add two eggs one at a time, okay. beating well in between each addition. Each. Yep. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, I kind of went over the side, but then it stopped. All right, so add that one and then beat it up a little bit. We're going to beat that for a minute. It looks kind of um, creepy. It looks a little creepy. We're oh, scraping it down before we have the next egg. Remember that like one that we literally ate like five times? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that looks good. All right, so stop that one. All right, we're going to have the second egg. Whip that one up again. So, why don't you slowly stop it and show the guys. There you have it. Some nice whipped up batter. Last thing we have to add is applesauce. Wow. How much applesauce is this? Um, uh, uh, yeah, in between two things. In between one and two, so? Uh, 12 and 12 slash 3. <laughs> it's a cup and a half of applesauce. All right. So you can add the applesauce to that. We're going to whisk that up again, kind of slowish, and then we're going to add the dry ingredients. And then we're going to put it in the pan. We whipped it for a little long. We whipped all the things together. The batter looks a bit weird right now. It looks all curdly. 
and uh, kind of gross, but that's the way it's supposed to look. Oh, don't be ashamed of yourself. So don't be ashamed of yourself. Just believe in yourself. You can do it. Flour, sir. Flour mixture. All of that in there? Yep. We're going to try to mix this all on the, uh, the old mixer. Obviously, you could do this by hand. We're just going to whisk it until it just comes together. Like this? Not too much, like maybe another second until you can't see any flour anymore. Yeah, that looks good. All right, take her off. Scrape around the sides. Oh, oh my eyes. I'm going to get rid of this. It's too hard on Corb's eyes. At this point, the batter says you could add some nuts. We're not going to add any nuts. So we scraped it all in. Corp is going to just smooth it out. And we're going to put it in the oven. 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, so we got them. It's been 25 minutes. It's actually been 45 minutes. Oh. And we are going to take the cake out of the oven. Wait, 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 wait. What? You need some oven mitts, boy. Not Dude, not guy not thinks he's made out of kryptonite. Not, not if I was the flash. <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, there it is. Apple sauce cake. You want to test that, baby? Yeah, just uh, just slowly, 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 right in the middle. Which one? Try. Does it look good? Yeah. We are gonna let it cool for an hour or so, and yeah. then we're gonna ice it. That's our favorite part. Yeah. Hi. Hey. We are back. Our cake is very cool, so we let it cool all afternoon. It's got to be real cool by now, eh? Yeah. So now we're going to make a quick icing. What we're going to need for the icing two is... two kinds of butter here. Butter and cream cheese. We're making cream cheese icing. Three tablespoons of butter and five ounces of cream cheese. So Corb's going to put those both in there, and he's going to whisk them up. And then we're going to add one cup of icing sugar and some cinnamon and some vanilla, and then that's it. Wait, Mom, what time is it? After four? Yeah. She got her some wine. Hey, me Mario's. All right, raise her up. Okay. We're going to add one cup of icing sugar. Oh, this stuff is so good. Can I stick my finger in there? No. Why not? Just can't. We're also going to add half a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of vanilla. And guess what we do now? Mix it. Mix it up again? For how long? I don't know. Mix it up for a couple minutes until it looks nice and smooth. And you got icing. Hi. Put it on Alright, that looks good. Okay. We're gonna spread it on the cake. Oh, except I forgot. What do we wanna do? Add green. Cool. Uh, we're gonna make, uh, when we decorate it, we're gonna make it. Green, not clear. We're not gonna make an ocean. We, we were thinking of making an ocean. You, right now, you can use whatever color you want, you can make it whatever you want. Yeah, but we're gonna make it a little bit green icing. And we're gonna do kind of a scene. Corpus is gonna make a scene. Oh, you know how to work this stuff. It's like, ooh, blah. I'm gonna do the spreading on the cake just because I want it to be really smooth for our scene that we're gonna make. I'm just gonna scoop it on like this. Scoopy! Like Scooby-Doo, like Scooby-Doo. Like Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. You don't have to make it green. You can just make it nice and white and simple. You can also take the pan, the cake out of the pan, but sometimes we just find it easier to leave the cake then, in the pan. Because then if it drips, it won't really drip on the side. It won't look, it won't look nicer. Yeah. So I got all the things. Um, ready. So I'll do some scene decorating. So we feel like it's pretty good. We got the tent here, the fire there, the rocks around the fire, the sand castle, the beach, the water, the worms that are hanging out together. Um, the trail, um, the people sitting around, the extra wood, and the bear. It's pretty good, gotta say. All right, we're gonna try this cake. Ah, the, the fence is burnt. Oh yeah. yeah. If I, I would not put the 
pretzels so close the pretzels, the pretzels are burnt. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. It's awesome. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Cooking with Chorus. Just one last thing. We're running a new contest. It is going to be between now and Mother's Day. And hashtag Bernie Fix. Hashtag. Or cooking with Corbs, or it's giver time, and I'll do a draw on Mother, or we'll do a draw on Mother's Day, and the lucky winner will win a T-shirt, a T-shirt from Giver, and a six-pack of cupcakes. So hashtag a photo of any kind of baking or cooking you're doing. It doesn't need to be what we're doing. Okay, bye for now.